Okay, so uh, we've got 20 minutes to do a panel, which is a first for me. So um, if you've got any questions, put your hands up, but I'm going to run through some questions. Um, and hopefully we'll have a few time for a few of your questions as well. So firstly, this is about business development. Can you both tell me what your role is, uh, what your company does, and how it relates to business development? Okay. Hello, I'm Jihad from MadPixel. Uh, I do business development, obviously. Uh, plus, we're a small company, so we, uh, I handle um, project management uh, and creative direction. Uh, MadPixel uh, is a fresh company and we do puzzle games. Uh, uh, we focus on um, building a brand more than building just quick games, uh, fast generating money games. Good morning everyone. I'm Ahmed Al Safar, co-founder of Play Arabi. I am, my title is Game Hunter and that means I am the one who goes and find the products for our company and build the relations with partners, identifying uh, the new markets or the new targets that we want, uh, wish to uh, achieve. And that is, in my opinion, is business development. So, what well, you've answered my next question already. What do you think business development is? Uh, for us, it starts with gathering insights, gathering information, trends, uh, news even. Utilize these uh, into the next one. Um, plus, uh, finding uh, the right tools, finding, building connection, and most importantly, crafting uh, a pitch uh, when pitching this game to uh, developers or uh, publishers. Uh, it doesn't end up like here, uh, taking the feedback, uh, working on the feedback, um, making connection all over the way. So, I mean, business development can seem quite soft and woolly. Certainly, as I do a lot of business development and always have, my friends always think that I just travel around the world having a great time. Um, how do you actually measure success? How do you track what success is? How do you measure that? What's your criteria? Okay. Uh, we, we first need to identify our KPIs. What are we aiming to do with this so, so we can measure? if we reach that target or not. Uh, for example, if this is your first game, uh, you need to focus more on building an audience, maybe um, testing the water, uh, building a fan base, and have clear targets. Uh, by clear target, don't do it, say, I just want to have good explore, uh, exp uh, ex uh, exposure. You need to know an estimate of numbers. I need this game to be to reach 15K of downloads and measure your uh, KPIs up to this. So th I think this is very crucial in having realistic and measurable targets in your work. Mm, I am kind of the opposite of Jihad, <laughs> because for me it's building relations and contacts takes time. It doesn't matter if I'm talking with a, some developer from a small company, uh, I will give him the same attention if I'm talking to someone that I really, really want to talk to, like a bigger company, because this person could be in two years the one I need in another bigger company. So it's a relation to build. Um, it, if we can cooperate on today's project, I think as developers, they always have a next project. And that's why I always say, um, like what I did in the last nine years, I always say I'd rather to stay as a good friend than a bad partner. So relations, relations, and contacts. You'll never know how that ends. Just be friendly with everyone. So uh, I'm kind of going on the emotional. He's going like, <laughs> he uses his brains, I use my heart. The other okay. half of the brain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but even if, you know, heart, mind, whatever, you know, how important are the personal relationships? And, you know, how, how important is it to be, to be building that over a long period of time? Ah, it's very fundamental, actually. Uh, you can never get anywhere without good connections. Uh, this is, uh, I'm with you in this point. You can have good numbers, you can have uh, great feedback, but if you don't have the right connections, you're gonna stay on the store. Yeah, it's, it's crucial in our work that um, you have the right channels, keep them open, be clear. Uh, be honest in your connections with, with publishers, with customers, with partners, and investors. Yeah, true. And how, I mean, 
again, from my own experience, you know, you're talking to a lot of different people. You're balancing a lot of different plates. How do you track it all? How do you manage your pipeline? How do you make sure you don't forget the million things that you have to do? I write it down. <laughs> 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 I didn't figure anything else. I, I write down, like even every, after big events, I write a report. OK, I tell my partners that's for you, but actually that's for me, for my record. So I know what I'm doing after that. Um, I have some friends who are telling, oh, they, they use all these um, business cards and um, make it, uh, sheets with it. It could be a good idea, but uh, I, I think I have at least one big box each year from business cards, so to, which I will throw probably. A lot of people change their companies very fast, or the positions. So sheets are not really something that I would use, but LinkedIn, it's, it's OK, because it's more or less updated. I think, yes, the, the pencil and paper are no, no, no. the <laughs> <laughs> and a good memory. And a good, yeah. Good morning. Some Excel sheet will <laughs> do the job. <laughs> so, did, did both of you, how did you get into business development? Like, you know, personally, me, I started as a programmer, and then I accidentally ended up running a business and accidentally ended up doing business development, which was a shock. Uh, but how about you? Was it something you always intended? Uh, not at all. I started as a vet. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but, but I've always been an artist, a digital painter, 2D animation, um, creative direction, uh, marketing, uh, branding. And one thing led to another, and suddenly I'm, I'm doing games. Uh, I, I think it's the creative field is, is inter, interlapping over each other. I was what and yeah, nowadays called a game producer in web games time. And someday came my ex. CEO and he told me, ah, Ahmed, since you talk five languages, we have an event, you should go. <laughs> so and that's how it started. He didn't tell me in the start that the, like I was based in Germany and the, the event is in North, uh, South Korea. Yeah. I found out later, <laughs> much later. But it's fine. Look, for me, I am someone who, okay, talk a, a lot, <laughs> sometimes nonsense. Uh, oh, before that, I would like to thank our translator for the hard work doing <laughs> in the last two days, translating oh, yeah. the, n the nonsense that we say and mostly the bad English that we have, <laughs> at least what I have. So, and, and yes, that, that's uh, for me business development or this contact, contacting, talking to people, it's kind of sometimes very stressful, but it's fun, especially after the official talks, which uh, remind me to say that, keep in mind, guys, that most of the deals will be done not in the meetings, it's after that. And in, in having coffee, tea, or beer, or whatever you prefer, you will reach more deals than just sitting in, in, in a meeting room. Okay, you see, keep, keep preempting all of my questions. So, <laughs> the next question, so what is the best way Actually, to do... Actually, that is business development, <laughs> to find, <laughs> to expect what will <laughs> so impress you. <laughs> so, how do you, what is the best way to communicate? Social media, emails, uh, flyers, meetings, you know, what, what do you find the most effective way to start a business deal and to build it? Uh, I wish we have conferences like this every day. <laughs> we we'll need anything else. Uh, but whenever there's no gathering or conferences, uh, you can start with emailing, uh, trying to have a meeting, uh, presenting, uh, pitching, and uh, the most, the most uh, crucial one and the most beneficial one is gathering face-to-face -face meetings, actually. If you cannot do that, try to find someone who can introduce you. It's much better. Um, what, but the thing that never, you sh never should do is write these bulk emails with hi, and then blah, 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 blah. Because like, whenever I read an email saying hi, hello, without my name, I will, I'll not delete it, but I will say it. Because it means he, he don't talk to me personally, he's talking to another 20 person, and I'm one of them. Or much worse, the emails with CC. <laughs> so, so you know who is also contacting. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Try to get personally, don't, in the first email, first contact, don't make it long. Uh, keep in mind that a lot of people have like 100, how many emails you have daily, Shahid? 
200, 300. So mm -hmm. you don't have time. <laughs> yeah, see, and and that's not only him. That's a lot of people. So not everyone have the enough time to read long text. Try to make it short and and to the point. Who you are, what do you want, and uh, if you like to talk with someone, always suggest a time. Don't tell me, ah, oh, I would like to talk to you. Do you have time? Uh, don't let the people think too much. Do you have time next Tuesday, 5 p.m.? If it's not suits you, suggest something. So that will, will make people at least react much faster than saying something that, do you have time? Sure. I, I'm not part of this panel, but would you mind if I added something? Uh, definitely. The, the oh. things that worked on me. Just let's do that. Shahid started work in gaming industry uh, before I finished the school. <laughs> no, you don't. Want. So that's in 1992? 1982. Yeah. <coughs> Pre prehistory. So before the dinosaurs passed. Uh, before the dinosaurs. Yeah. Jahiliya. <laughs> <laughs> so something that really works well is in your initial communication, all the things that you said were totally spot on, but to add to that, if you can make it slightly personalized, and you can only get that through researching the person and understanding them. So for example, if you're trying to contact someone who's quite influential, if you've watched all their YouTube videos, if you've read all their articles, if you understand their position in the industry, and one of your initial points in a very short email is something along the lines of, I really enjoyed this point you made in X, Y, Z. That person immediately marks themselves out as somebody who is not going to waste your time and immediately grabs attention. Because now you've put the recipient on the back foot. So I would get something like that one out of a thousand emails. And I would go, oh my god, what did I say? <laughs> you know, I don't remember. So now I'm on the defensive. I feel open and a little bit vulnerable, but also impressed. And that's the state of mind you really want to encourage. And if you can do that and then offer something, yeah? So if you, if you would like a meeting and you understand how busy this person is and you offer them three options, and give them your preferred option, and it's always at the recipient's convenience, that's going to be great. Especially if you say, I'm not going to take more than half an hour of your time. I'm not necessarily going to pitch you anything. I would like to know where you're standing at the moment in relation to this business. Plus doing a, a professional follow-up, uh, straight to the point. Um, I guess this makes a huge difference. So um, reputation is everything. Um, and as you said, you know, making things personal. Um, you know, how do you build a reputation? How important is it to be you and for people to know you as a person as well as the company you represent? Uh, okay. Uh, the first thing is to be honest. Uh, be realistic. Don't say, I can do that, and you can't do that. Your team is not able to be do that. Rise a flag at the early stages, not later. Um, don't give promises you can't make, especially on deadlines. Uh, it's, it's much, uh, I think, uh, in my opinion, that whoever in the other end of that email or in the other that of the equation uh, will appreciate your honesty more than giving them that you're the, the yes sayer and all, everything then, and shit hits the fans. <laughs> I'll second Jihad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, any questions from the audience? Oh, I've got two minutes. Oh, yes, can we get a microphone? Thank you. Uh, hello. Uh, I want to ask you, like, from your experience uh, as, a project, as a project like management, uh, when do you cut off the resources of a project? Like, when, when should I know when a project is failing and I should stop it? I think that the question was for the previous uh, session. It was about building teams. <laughs> well, I, I cannot. You, you mean uh, to to cut the project if you yeah. think it's failing? Well, if you, if if the feedback is on the core is in the core of the game, and fixing that would change pretty much most of the core game. I think this is well, this will be uh, a sign. First of all, yeah. or the, the amount of negative feedback that you get, this, 
twice or three times feed around the feedback means that there's a huge problem with the concept itself. Thank you. Any other questions? Okay, so my last question then, just to wrap up, is you know, for people here, you know, a lot of people, in, including me, got into the industry because we wanted to make games, and we realised at some point that if we're running a business or we're freelance, we have to do business development. What would your tip be for somebody who's in that position who hasn't really done this before but wants to learn and get start out doing biz dev? Don't be shy, but don't nag. We all starting somewhere, and uh, most of the people understand that, even the seniors. Uh, my opinion, gaming industry, one of the friendly, most friendly, I cannot say most friendly, but friendly environment, friendly business, uh, especially towards indie developers. So make a use of that, go and ask your questions, but uh, keep in mind that you, you have to limit the, uh, th that the other person have a limited time. So make it short, have a contact with them, don't be shy. Go always and ask. Ask your friends who knows others to introduce you. Uh, be active, but you have to know when to stop. Like if you're sending three emails and nobody answer, no need for the fourth. Uh, for me, I would stress more on the presentation, the pitch itself. Uh, give it your heart and soul, tell them what they're in it for you, um, be very clear and uh, very straightforward, uh, give them numbers, um, imagine yourself in their shoes and uh, what they want to hear from you, plus be honest. Um, I want to add, whatever I said, that's only my personal opinion based on what I did or how I did. There is definitely other ways to do it, successfully, and it varies from uh, mentality to others. I mean, all what I said probably in, in, in far Asia will be a nonsense, because they do it more firm, uh, or in the US more leisure, I don't know. But uh, it, it just to make it clear that well, there is other ways to do it. Definitely, I mean, one way could be to always wear a top hat so that everybody <laughs> always remembers who you are. <laughs> right, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.